adoption RECRA bill. The adoption RECRA would have permitted any entity that receives public funding to provide adoption and foster care services or an individual employee working for such a service provider the ability to deny or delay placing children with particular parents based on their religious or moral beliefs. There are three separate bills and each one amended a different part of the adoption code. Um, Michigan currently has 13,000 children in foster care at any one time and about 3,000 children up for adoption. The bill was introduced in the House of Representatives on February 12th and we had a committee hearing five days later. The bills were sponsored by two Republicans and one Democrat. Um, Representatives LaFontaine and Luthauser have never been our allies, but Representative Harvey Santana at one time co-sponsored legislation to update our statewide Civil Rights Act to include, include sexual orientation, gender identity, and expression. He later um, posted on social media that he no longer supported that effort, and he skipped a committee hearing on it. Um, the, op the opponent's strategy was pretty simple. Basically what they said was, if we do not pass this bill, we are going to close for business. Um, Catholic Charities and Bethany Christian run about 40% of the adoption services in the state of Michigan. So they were able to parade families that they've helped in front of the legislature and all of their cute kids that, <laughs> that had been adopted and, and they talked quite a bit about how they don't think they would have gotten that level of service from any other adoption agency. We employed a social media campaign um, to fight these bills. Um, we used um, the hashtags Rifra Hurts and Adopt Kids Not Hate. When we realized that the bills were probably going to pass, um, we, uh, we attempted to influence the governor, who previously said that he would not sign RIFRA legislation. So we tried to tie the adoption bills to the RIFRA bills at large. So we said that RIFRA hurts families, kids, businesses in Michigan. Our memes were shared hundreds of times on Facebook and Twitter. We also had people email the governor, the legislators, they called and we also collected stories because we wanted to highlight the stories of people that have been hurt who have not, who were turned away from adoption agencies. Um, and we also worked with partners in different areas of the movement. We worked quite extensively with the ACLU. We worked with the Ruth Ellis Center, which is one of four um, youth social service facilities in the entire country that serves runaway um, thrown away and at-risk homeless LGBTQ youth. We worked with the Family Equality Council, Planned Parenthood, which does adopt, which they do adoption services and foster placement in the state of Michigan. We worked with NOW, and we also worked with CARE, which is the Council on American Islamic Relations. Um, we highlighted stories of foster agencies who want to serve everyone and adoption agencies that will do the same. We also highlighted the stories of LGBTQ kids, which are in foster care. Um, we um, reached out to social workers, psychologists, and um, faith leaders. Our current legislature is pretty conservative. Republicans have an eight-member majority in the House of Representatives and a supermajority in the Senate. Unfortunately, we lost this battle. The House vote was 65-44 and the Senate vote was 26-12. We were able to get um, some Republicans to vote against the bill, but unfortunately some Democrats voted for it. So it was kind of, kind of a wash. Um, I think we had a great coalition. Um, I think we educated Michiganders about RIFRA and about the attempts of smaller RIFRAs and how they don't gin up the outrage that the larger RIFRAs um, gin up. And I think we had a great social media campaign. Um, I, if we could do it all over again, I think we would have put pressure on the governor earlier and we would have um, engaged more families and 
and um, more creative leaders.